Hello, everybody. This is James Hirecheck. I'm the technical analyst for AutoTardis. Uh, Elan is not able to attend today because he's traveling, and I am very happy to fill in for him today. So I welcome the opportunity to talk to all of you current AutoTardis users and to those who are considering this great product. Before we start, I wanted to mention that you should view the performance stats video on YouTube. AutoChartist has its own YouTube channel that contained uh, many videos on how to use the product as well as uh, trade selection and trade opportunity selection that come out on a daily basis. I also wanted to mention that it's important that you go to the AutoChartist.com website and there you can log in uh, to AutoChartist or sign up for AutoChartist as either a direct customer or with one of our trading partners. Okay, this is uh, very important that you do that um, because you'll be able to get access to this valuable program and valuable information as well as educational materials and videos. Okay, now you can log in uh, through the home page or through our Facebook page also. So remember, if you're a social media person, go to Facebook and uh, find our page. Also want to point out when we when you look at this uh, main uh, platform page that we have this gray scroll bar across the top. This is important. It's just been added to the web platform and it's going to announce the next uh, important information like webinar events or latest videos. So you'll see it scrolling across the top as I talk today. This is very important. And finally, I just want to say that today uh, I'm going to show you how I use the performance statistics feature and how uh, you should also be able to use it. And it's a feature that I use to find a great trade. So I look for trade, certain conditions that the performance stats give me that identify uh, what I consider to be great setups or great trading opportunities using statistics. And also, I'm going to show you through this web application, and this is what this platform is called. And I'll show you how to take uh, the position through the MT4 plugin on your trading platform if you're using MT4. Now, I want to point out that we may get some alerts coming off. You'll see them populate down here uh, because of the uh, shift in the time period. Uh, auto chartists may start to show some new positions coming up uh, on the hourly or 240-minute uh, chart. So uh, that could be exciting if we get a, a new opportunity that comes up fresh during the uh, webinar. Uh, again, too, don't be confused by this time. I'm on Central Time because I'm working out of Chicago today. Okay, now many traders out there are going to be introduced to auto chartists for the first time, many of the attendees. And when you look at it, you're often asked the question, so does it really work? And the performance stance will answer that question for you. Obviously, chart pattern uh, analysis has been around for a long time, probably going back over 100 years in terms of equity markets. And uh, it's gradually worked its way through futures, and of course, cash markets, and now into Forex. So, we do know that chart patterns work, and every technical analyst has a different spin on what uh, connotates or what denotes a good chart pattern. And we've been able to back it up through our performance statistics, which should be an eye-opener to some of you on how accurate the program can be. And now, one thing is that many people don't have a lot of time to go through and backtest a lot of these programs, so we've taken that out of the equation by providing these performance stats that we update periodically so that uh, you're aware of any changes in the performance. And so all of these uh, combinations of the chart patterns and the performance stats should answer the question for you is that how well AutoChartist is doing. Of course, you have to remember that there's a lot of uh, personal preferences involved in trading, including uh, capital and your uh, uh, risk tolerance, things like that. You may have also a favored currency or even time constraints, but we've tried to take into consideration all those opportunities because 
we do operate in the forex markets and on a 24-hour basis. So it's very important that you uh, hone in on what you consider to be your skill in the markets you want and then use the AutoTardist tools to enhance your op uh, trading opportunities. I uh, also want to point out that our results are transparent and updated on a weekly basis, as I mentioned, and although the numbers aren't going to trade dr change dramatically, from time to time you're going to see uh, certain patterns or certain markets uh, perform better than they did before, and some may perform uh, less stellar, and that has to do with the function of the markets. At times you're going to have trending markets which may produce uh, some very good opportunities, and other times some markets just go flat or choppy and they don't work as well. And so that's important to uh, look at, and that's important also because when you're looking at performance stats, you want to be as updated as possible. So in your auto chartist application, you see that we have trading opportunities, which I have open right now. We also have performance stats. If you click on performance stats, you're going to be taken to a page that looks like this. It starts out with a description of a particular market. In this case, I'm looking at Forex. We can also go to uh, previous tabs and we can look at uh, commodities. We can look at various exchanges such as the Board of Trade or CME. We can even go down to uh, equities if you prefer to trade equities and to look at NASDAQ or NYSE stocks. But today we're going to primarily focus on the Forex market. You can see also that when we're looking at the statistics, we can look at chart patterns, completed chart patterns. If you're familiar with AutoTardist, you know that we identify both emerging and completed chart patterns. And completed patterns are ones that have fulfilled the requirement of the pattern by breaking out, either up or down. And we also have introduced within the last year our key level analysis, which is basically like a pivot. It's a straight line area that has shown in the past that a market uh, has a tendency to either break out, up, or break down. And we have analyzed both the approaching market or the market that is moving up into the, the key level, and we've also analyzed the breakout through the key level. So all those can be viewed here in this particular statistic bar. So if we click on View for chart patterns, we we'll see that we're organized here on this page by pattern, symbol, direction, all these different variables that we can look at. Okay, I tend to watch basically the pattern and the uh, symbol. Uh, that's what I tend to look at because of my experience in the marketplaces. I have a favorite pattern that I like to watch and then statistically it may not be the best, but uh, I, I like it, so that's again a personal preference. But I also have the opportunity to look at a, a highly uh, successful pattern, should I choose to do that. So if I go down here, you'll see that in our pattern section, we have broken up this, uh, these patterns into our list form. You can see that we've had the total number of occurrences of a particular pattern, the number of times it's been correct. And what I mean by correct is that when you look at a chart pattern, you're going to see that it's formed over a certain period of time, like this this year. And I'll blow this up a little bit. It should come up in a minute. So as this forms over a certain period of time, and oftentimes it's on a vertical or diagonal formation, uh, you're going to see that we have this gray box here, which is the target. Okay. Now, if we extend this out, if we had room, this target area extends out into space or as the market begins to move. So we consider a pattern successful when it breaks through an area and becomes conclude, uh, a completed pattern and any time it hits that gray box within uh, the same time period that it's taken to create the pattern. So some of them could be quick moves into it, some of them could be prolonged moves into it. But that's what we consider to be a success when it hits this target area within that allotted time period. Okay? And again, the ability of a market to hit fast sometimes is a function of volatility, of momentum, 
and also volume and also maybe if the market's in the news maybe it's an event driven market and other times if it's a trending market it may take some time and drift lower before it hits the target price but those are some of the criteria that we look for in a uh, for a successful pattern okay now back to our stats here you can see that we've identified again the pattern and the total number of opportunities as well as the correct rate and that gives us our percentage now you'll see that over time and these are a pretty long period of time a lot of examples these are some pretty high percentages in terms of hitting our target zone okay so again if you're watching patterns that come up this is the box you'd be looking at and you'd want to maybe gravitate towards a high highly successful pattern that's the inverse head and shoulders pattern and we also have you can see that the pennant is identified in pink here as maybe being a lower performing uh, pattern now again as I mentioned before we're going to be updating these chart patterns and the performance on a weekly basis so it is possible that we could see some big moves coming or successful moves coming in the pennant formation that will uh, push its performance up and we can also see some of these be pulled down but overall these are very good statistics because of the number of samples that we're looking at okay you can see also that the triangle is, is the most popular or most common pattern okay then we also uh, have a column where we look at it in a market uh, basis or a forex pair and we cover not only the dollar majors but also the euro majors as well as some other cross rates Okay, so you're going to see that certain currencies pairs perform better than others. These 70% ones are highlighted. It's the Australian dollar, Japanese yen, Australian dollar, U.S. dollar. Again, this could be a function of volatility or how active that market is. Okay, we go down here and see that other markets may be uh, higher rated and some may be performing subpar by our standards. But you can see it's a pretty complete list in terms of what you want to look for. Okay, now another thing is that we look at direction. And this could be uh, maybe somebody who prefers the short side or the long side of the market. We also realize that there's variables that come in in, in terms of the uh, time periods. Okay, so you can see that these quicker moves, uh, the 15 minute for example, it has a lot of examples, of course, that's the way it works. It's usually an inverse relationship between the number of trades and the time period that you're looking at, and they're going to have uh, different statistics uh, than, say, a longer-term period. We also know, and I know if you're an experienced Forex trader, that you're probably looking at the hour of the day as being important. We all know about the crossover times where Europe and London and the US are open. Uh, anytime you get a market that's straddling those openings, you tend to get a lot more volume and volatility, and that could help drive a market into a target price or forecast zone. So that's very critical uh, that we uh, that you are aware of that. Now, uh, before we uh, move on, I uh, wanted to take a look at uh, poll questions. Give yourself a little break here. Give me a little break here. And I'll take a look at these poll questions to see uh, how uh, you answered them. And uh, the questions, if you didn't see them, are uh, do you need help to access AutoChartist either via your broker or as a direct client? All right, let me uh, find my poll questions here. And uh, poll is being taken place. It's taking place right now, and I should have those results. This is important to the development of the program because we want to know how you're getting the material and whether you're going directly through us or through a broker. Okay, and uh, we also want to make sure that you're looking at and using all the support that's available. So if you are saying uh, yes, that you are using uh, the program, the software, then make sure 
that you mail uh, email to us any questions at support at autochartist.com. And when you do that, if you answered yes, let us know who your broker is and, again, whether you're a direct client and also if you're looking at a demo or a live account. This is very important statistics that we like to use to enhance the product. Okay, we also are looking uh, at a second poll question, and that is, do you have the latest version? That's version 16 of the AutoChartist MT4 plugin downloaded. I know when I use it, I get automatic updates, so AutoChartist is on top of the, the revisions, and I automatically get them. And if you're using the, the MT4 plugin, you may have something that's outdated, and you certainly want to take advantage of any of the changes that we've made. And so if you're not receiving the, or you don't have the platform, or you don't have the latest version, then definitely email support at autotardis.com. And again, tell us who your broker is. Uh, tell us whether you're a direct client and whether you're using a demo or a live account. Okay, these are very important, uh, again, uh, poll questions that we're looking at. So keep that in mind as you complete those poll questions. Okay, now after that little break, I'll continue with this performance stat page. And what I see here is that we can also go into the hour of the day, which is critical, okay? These are, you're going to have different statistics based on hour of the day. And again, that's tied to the opens uh, in, the, uh, in the Forex world. Sometimes you're going to get time periods that don't trade as active as others, and you may not get the accuracy that you want or you need in a pattern. Uh, we've also broken it down in terms of strength of the breakout, if you go back to this screen, you'll see that we identify these breakouts here by strength. That's a basic uh, indicator that AutoChartist has given you, and you should have learned in some previous webinars. So we look at the strength of the breakout to determine how uh, correct it is in terms of percentage right. So that's important to note. We also have other aesthetic indicators, such as clarity and quality as well as uniformity. Some people want to look at those, and they also can have an effect on performance. And then finally, uh, we start looking down at uh, symbols in terms of intervals. And you can see these green ones are the uh, sections that you want to see because those are highly successful. And we also look at direction in terms of patterns. Okay? And obviously, you can see this here because a head and shoulders is always bearish, and an inverse head and shoulders is always bullish. So these tend to be uh, very good performers because from a technical analyst standpoint, these are easily identifiable. Okay, Some traders have trouble identifying uh, strength and weakness of triangles, but inverse head and shoulders seem to be very popular. And when you have that kind of popularity, you tend to have a lot of interest in it, and that interest is what drives the market. And finally, you can look at patterns also in terms of, of time frames, and that's real critical too. So every one of these goes into the overall performance of our uh, statistics, which is over here. And you can see that we're at 66% accuracy in terms of hitting that target within that time frame. And again, we have a huge sample that's been evaluated and also uh, a large number of correct. So that's a pretty high percentage in terms of markets, uh, market analysis. Okay, now going back, uh, I could see that uh, we, haven't, we have one or uh, two trading opportunities this morning that came up. One is the Australian dollar CHF. So we have Australian dollar Swiss franc. Now what I do is I look at the web-based based version of this platform, and I look for these opportunities that come up. So in this case, I have the Australian dollar Swiss franc. I see it's a 240 minute. It's a channel up chart pattern, and it's completed. So those are the criteria that I look for. And then I go to my performance stats, and I look for the Australian dollar uh, CHF uh, market. And here I'm scrolling down. 
and you can see that uh, my old eyes, uh, unless they deceive me here, here we go. The Australian dollar Swiss franc has had 149 occurrences over our time frame, and it's been uh, the, a successful trade or opportunity 68% of the time. That's fairly high. It's not as high. It's better than the overall of 66, but maybe not as high as some of these other patterns. Now, I also go back to the uh, chart pattern. You can remember I looked at channel up as my pattern. I can go to channel up and see that that's a 74% in terms of success. So I have a 68% on the, on, the on the actual pair and I have 74% on the pattern. I consider that to be a good market to watch. That's a good combination. Okay, so that once I determine the market I want to look at and I like the pattern, then what I do is I rotate into my MT4 platform and I would take a look at my uh, pattern. I would uh, look for the Australian dollar CHF on a 240 minute basis. I would just simply uh, drag that chart into my uh, screen and then you can see here that with the plugin what AutoTardist has done is it's created a custom indicator that is considered to be uh, chart patterns, uh, Fibonacci patterns, key level patterns, power stat, and also the web-based version. So you can, dra you can drag these patterns, uh, in these indicators, into the chart, and you can, it, it'll populate it over time. So all of these can be used in, in terms of key levels also. Now getting back to the, uh, percent, the uh, performance stats, as I, as I mentioned, I'm looking to see if we get any new opportunities, and it doesn't look like we're going to have any this morning. Uh, it seems to be a slow trading day. But you can see that with this particular pattern from this screen and from the MT4, if you're watching it, that uh, we are headed towards this particular target zone. So uh, we're well on our way. At least you have some control over the trade right now because of the way the market is behaving. It's moving down towards our, our, our action or our, our forecast zone. Now the other thing you want to look at is uh, these are completed patterns. I can go to my results filter and this is my results filter. I can hide it or I can open it and I can look at key level breakouts or key level approaches. It's a combination of the two. So let's look at breakouts right now. You can see that this morning the Australian dollar, US dollar broke down through a key level support at 103.53. I'll blow this up also so you can see it a little bit more clearly. So this is a, a breakdown to the key level support. Okay. Now if we go back to our performance stats, uh, we, can go, we can look at our key level breakouts because this is a breakout move for Forex. I can click on view and the statistics will come up. Okay, so now what we're looking at is a pattern that broke through support. So you can see that at 74% accuracy is fairly good. As I mentioned before, it's very close to a pivot indicator which is popular among uh, traders around the world. Okay, so that's, uh, that's why some of these patterns work is that there's some muscle behind the move and that's what, as a smaller trader like myself, or maybe you out there, uh, oftentimes you can get the direction in a signal, but you need to have some kind of muscle behind the move, and that's why these breakout levels work very well. Now here's the Australian dollar AUD USD in terms of performance. And you can see that this Forex pair on a breakout or a key level trade performs with about 70% accuracy. And that's really good. So again, if you wanted to, uh, I look again at the pattern as well as the symbol as my two variables. And you may want to look at other factors such as interval or hour of the day and also uh, direction to give you more uh, analysis. Uh, again, like any kind of trading formula, you don't want to talk yourself out of the move. So if you become familiar with these 
statistics and you know ahead of time what you're looking for and which patterns are successful, more successful than others, then it helps you cut to the chase uh, fairly quickly and fairly easily and allows you to uh, take advantage of the trade as it, as it pops up. Now, uh, what I do oftentimes is uh, I set up my searches and you can see from a previous webinar, we've taught you how to use these searches. And you can select uh, which markets you want to look at in symbol. Uh, you can select your time periods. And you can select the chart patterns that you like. So uh, that saves some time also. So if you look at the performance stats and you see a particular pattern is performing better than others, then you may want to do a, a free search on it. Uh, otherwise, you can wait for them to come up and take advantage of them as they come up. So that's important to note. Now, uh, that was the breakout. Now, if you look at the approaches, you can see from this number here uh, where I've, I got the arrow that there are eight approaches today. Okay, And that means that the market hasn't broken through, but that it's approaching a particular level that it, where it could provide a technical bounce or it could become a breakout and take out the support point. Okay, so you want to also know, uh, for example, in this British pound, Canadian dollar, how an approaching market has performed statistically. And it should come up in a little bit here. Okay, there we go. So we this bar here tells us when we've identified it, now you're looking at it as an approaching market. So when you click on your performance stats, you want to look at how these markets, uh, how these markets perform in terms of approaches. So I can go back to my uh, performance stats here. You click out of this and go to my performance stats. And I can look for approaches in Forex right here. And I could view and I'm looking for British pound, Canadian dollar, and that would be the GBP CAD right here. And you can see that that's highly accurate. That's 77% accuracy. Okay, and again, if it's going to be approaching support, you can see that's 76%. So this particular pattern is a popular pattern, and it has a 294 occurrences. So it's it's pretty active, and you can see that it's been uh, successful in terms of finding support on our approaches. So as a trader, you're going to want to know two things. You're going to want to know what is approaching so that you're geared up for all the activity here, and you're going to want to know also which ones are breaking out. And if you know the statistics ahead of time or at least familiar with the database, then again, you can take advantage of those as you um, develop your expertise with the AutoChartist platform. OK, so I just want to emphasize that you can, the steps are you want to go through either the, uh, your completed chart patterns, your breakouts or in your key levels or your approaches. Okay, and you want to populate that list down here of the opportunities as they come up. And you want to see which ones are providing opportunities at this point. Now, again, you can either go into the performance stats ahead of time and become familiar with which ones are good and successful based on these percentages. Or you can do what I just did here is and wait for the pattern to come up, view the statistics, and then take the uh, information that you have and drop and drag them into an MT4 platform. Okay? And then from there, uh, you can also enter your orders straight on into the market from your MT4 platform. So that's how uh, I'm able to uh, look at my material, look at the opportunities I have in the marketplace, looking at my trading opportunities, and then quickly moving from trading opportunity to performance stats right to MT4 and putting in my order. And the more you practice with it and the more familiar you become with the software, 
you know that in about four clicks you're in the market and that's why uh, I would highly uh, suggest that you get a program like this because I really don't know any other out there there's some other softwares or some other platforms out there and many times you're not familiar with statistics or how it works and you're trading blindly with this everything seems to be pretty straight up you can see the chart pattern you can see statistics you can see quality indicators all those things are important uh, you can hear this is good information that's revealed you can go right to performance stats and then from there go to MT4 and enter your order so that's how I work it and that's what I would suggest uh, that you do and again go to the autotardist.com website and sign up for this program either through one of your brokers or, or through a demo and also well, I want to make sure that you use the statistics cautiously and wisely and don't jump to any conclusions because something is has worked very very well in the past and, and you think that well I'm going to uh, uh, make a ton of money on this because the statistics have shown in the past. You still have to practice sound money management and it's not an easy money uh, tool. You still have to be aware that there's risks involved and that our patterns can turn quickly because of news events that take place and things you may not uh, be aware of. So you want to use these stats as an academic breakdown. I like that quote, quote, academic breakdown of past achievements, and, uh, and it cannot rely, uh, be, um, predict future outcomes. There's no indicator out there that does it. But it shows tendencies, and it shows where success has been in the past, and it shows that these patterns are created by humans, and that humans will tend to trade them the same way over and over again. And that's why these patterns have, have uh, been proven over time. So I mentioned in the beginning, these patterns have been around for a hundred years at least, going back to the uh, uh, Charlie Dow days when he developed Dow theory, and moving into Edwards and McGee, which are uh, guys from the 40s and 50s who developed some chart pattern theory. So uh, again, uh, just to wrap up, the key is understanding how to use the statistics, how to use the auto chartist platform, and to learn. Uh, through its relative ease, how much time it can save you and how much uh, information is here that can take you from analysis right to the trade in about four easy steps. So I'll answer any questions if you have any and uh, best I can here. I know that my two colleagues have been answering questions as we go along. Okay, uh, again if you have questions regarding the platform or any technical questions on the platform or how to get it or plugins, you may, you're going to have to uh, email support at autotardis.com and give your broker name, uh, who you use, or whether you use it directly from Autotardist. And you want to also uh, give a detailed explanation of any problems that you have. And I just want to say that if you've survived, here's a little bit of a market analysis they've been looking at. If you survived this year, especially the last six months, you kept your powder dry, opportunities should be coming up. This was a very, very low volatile uh, volatility year. Volatility dropped in stock indices, it dropped in Forex, made uh, trading difficult, and that was because of uh, the election, a quantitative easing, uh, uncertainty in Europe, you know, things like that that made people uh, non-committal. And now that there's a little bit of clarity, or at least we've identified where the problems and issues could come up, you know, you have to be ready to trade the volatility. And again, when you start to see what, if you start to watch these patterns develop on auto charts, you'll start to see that the program does identify these volatile moves, especially triangle patterns, which try to take advantage of this, the tight markets where they've congested like this. You'll see tons of these markets go from sideways like this here to trending. Then you'll see sideways to trending. And that's what Autochart is, is, it does. It, it rotates between your uh, triangle patterns into your channels, from your channels into your triangles. So once you catch the rhythm of it, and you're able to follow auto chartists, and, and it takes work. You've got to follow every day. Watch how the markets move from 
sideways to trending, and you know, here sideways to trending, sideways to trending, and that's what AutoTart is. Uh, one of the beauty parts of the program is that you don't have to draw the patterns; they pop up. But just a little bit of knowledge like that, combined with your knowledge of the statistics, should make you a better trader. Okay, uh, let's see here. Another question: If I have FXDD version, it gives signals in the M15 time frame. Can this be changed? If so, how? If you're looking at MT4, uh, you can see across this bar here. I'm hoping that I'm not simplifying your problem. But if you're stuck on a 15 minute here in M15, you can just click this uh, little bar here, and you can change to an M30 or an H1 or an H4, which is the 240. I hope that answers your question. Okay, that's a quick uh, click there. Okay, now. Um, Somebody asked, yes, these videos will be recorded. And again, I urge you to go to the, our YouTube channel and uh, look at the educational videos as well as some of the daily stuff that I've done and I've selected over a, uh, over a, day, over a long time period to see some of the criteria that I use to pick charts. So I do some videos. You can see that here. This box popped up here. You can see that this is how AutoTardis looks on uh, MT4 platform. This is a head and shoulders formation that occurred earlier uh, in the session. This is uh, AUD NZD 15 minute. And you can see that we had, when we broke down through this uh, neckline of this pattern, that the market just went straight down. So this is, uh, once I get the pattern, as I said before, uh, on my on my program, on my platform here, then what I do is I immediately I look at the stats. I go to my MT4. I drag in the I drag in my unless I've done it before. Try chart pattern indicator into this, and then I get a uh, live action. And you can see here this this uh, New Zealand dollar, Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar fulfilled my requirements. It was a good uh, trading opportunity in the market collapse under it. This came up earlier in the day. So um, anyway, the uh, the I'll keep answering questions here. Um, you can set in terms of your time periods. You can set the time period that you're working with. I'm here in Chicago, so mine's set at Chicago. That's why these times may not mean for you. So yes, you can set it. And if I use a broker, would I have full access to the web-based features presented here? Uh, if the broker uses it, I assume that uh, they can uh, make it available to you. If they don't use it, then you can't, obviously, you can't use it. So here's, a, here's some of the icons of the brokers that we use or have this program available to you. So there's quite a population. And don't forget, also, follow us on Facebook, too. You can sign up through Facebook down here. All right. Any questions uh, on patterns, organization? Is the hour of the day GMT or local time? Um, sorry about that. It's going to be uh, set up in terms of local time, I believe. Uh, that's a question that I would email in, just so that I'm not giving you the wrong answer right now. I'd seldom uh, look at... Uh, that because I'm familiar with when I'm in Chicago, I'm looking at a different opening time for New York and the overlap between London and Europe. So I'm uh, geared towards a different overlap than say you would you would be. So I would uh, email that question in for a more thorough answer. How's that for you? Rather than steer you in the wrong direction. Uh, do you have uh, plugins for MT4 only? Uh, yes, it's what I see. I don't I'm not familiar with J4X or your uh, web platform, which I'm not sure which what your web platform is. But right now, MT4 is the one we're working with. It's one of the most popular programs out there, so we might as well satisfy that big uh, universe of traders who use MT4. Let's see if anything else is coming up. This is a trade from earlier in the session also that came up on here. 
I can uh, I can sort by uh, different time frames too. So the action was in Australia. Obviously, you can see that's populated by the Aussie against the Swiss, Aussie against the dollar, Aussie against the New Zealand dollar. These are uh, things that I tend to look at as to uh, when I first glance at the market uh, where the action is. And so uh, that tells me risk on, risk off. So I, I use uh, I use this information as a complete analysis for me. I also look at the patterns that come up. I know that triangle patterns, for example, are going to be tighter non-trending patterns. You can see here, remember I told you how it goes from trend to sideways to trend. So you can see that the rotation is going to be from a triangle and it's probably going to rotate to a channel later. So that's important to know also uh, when you're using the program. And then combine that with your statistics and you should put together pretty good analysis and trading package uh, fairly uh, quickly. Uh, I don't see other markets in my searches as well. Um, Okay, that was the answer. Not all bro brokers have different products. Yes, unfortunately, you know, some brokers limit the amount of markets that you have access to, and others have a plethora of markets. Okay, and uh, we've done our 45 minutes. Again, uh, I appreciate uh, you sticking around and listen to, listening to me, and Elon will be back for the next webinar we'll, where he will impress you with more valuable information. And again, don't forget, Email us at support at autotardis.com if you have any questions. Tell us who your broker is. And also visit the website, sign up, and uh, use us through Facebook. And follow this gray bar here so uh, to keep uh, current into what uh, is coming up. Thank you, and have a great trading day.